Hi, in this clip I'm going to show you how to customize your Android app and you'll be able to use your own title, icon, and a splash screen and we're going to do this using Magic's Rich Client Deployment Builder. Now to create a custom application you need to compile the Android app and for this you need to have the JDK and the Android SDK installed. We showed you how to get these and to install them in a previous clip. So let's go ahead now and open Magic XPA. And we're going to open up here a simple Hello World Rich Client program. It has a public name and the external checkbox check, which we showed you in a previous clip. So now we're going to open up the Rich Client Deployment Builder. We'll go to the Options menu, Interface Builder, and Rich Client Deployment. And just go ahead here and click on Next. And let's create a new configuration. We'll click on New. And here you have the application title, and the name that you set here is the name that will appear to the end user when the application is deployed on their device. So we'll just go ahead here and change it to something like My App and click Next. Everything else you can leave as is. And in the screen, you will write the deployment server details. And so here in the server name field, you automatically get the name of the server, or you can also put in the IP address, which is what we're going to do here. Since in this video clip, we'll use the studio as the deployment server, there's no need to change anything else here. So we're going to go ahead and click Next. And the application name field is the name of the application as it is known to the Magic Broker. So we'll leave it as is. And in the Start Program Name field, you want to click here on this button and select the public name that you set for your program and you'll see her mobile program. You actually get a list here of all the various public names but we only have the one so we're going to go ahead and select that. And click select. And just remember that this field has to be filled in for any mobile device that you're developing for. And when deploying on mobile devices you can have your deployment settings we field reside in the deployment package or in an external file and we will have it in an external file as defined here, this external settings file name. So go ahead here and click on Next. And we want to click here on Android only because we want to generate the deployment files for Android. And just remember that you can build the package for multiple deployment platforms, but we're here we're going to select Android and click Next. The deployment folder does not exist. Do you wish to create it? Yes. Now, because you selected Android in the previous screen, this Android settings screen appears, and here you specify your Android settings. So in the SDK folder field here, this is where you have your Android SDK installed, and I have it installed on D, Downloads, Android Simulator, SDK. And also you have to go and get the platform there. We'll use Android 11 here. This actually is the platform which will be used for the compilation and the minimum version is Android 11. The package name here is the identifier of the package and it has to be in lowercase and unique across all packages installed on your device. But if you use uppercase letters or if the default that you get has uppercase letters like in our case, the build script will just convert it to lowercase for you so we don't need to do anything here. Now the resource folder is the folder that contains the application icons and the startup logos in various resolutions. And you can leave it as is if you want to use the magic XPA icons in the splash screen, or you can save your images to the folder. And we're going to go ahead and replace the images in one of the folders with the My App images. So let's go ahead and look at this folder. And it's where you installed magic under the RIA modules folder under Android source and in the resource folder. So what we're going to do here is make a copy of the resource folder where all the images are sitting and rename it. We'll just call it my images. And what I did was I prepared in advance an icon and a logo. You'll see here by default you have the magic XPA icon and logo. And what I did here was I prepared one with the words my app on it so that we can make sure that we've got the right icon appearing. So I'm going to take those two images, the icon and the logo, which is the splash screen, and copy it. 
into this first folder here, drawable HDPI, and I'm just going to replace them and need to name it the same thing that exists by default. And you can see here that it has subfolders to support different device resolutions. And you need to do the same thing for all of the resolutions, replacing the various image files, but we'll just do it for the first folder. So we're going to go back to the builder and select that folder that we just defined, My Images. So it knows where to take the images from. And here are the properties of the key store, which will be used to sign your package. And we'll use a key store that's provided with the Magic XPA installation. But for production, you should create your own key store. But right now, we'll leave it as is and click Finish. Now the Android app is being compiled, and this may take a few minutes. After the build is finished, the summary screen appears with all of the information that you need for deploying it. And it's a good idea to copy its text or make a screen capture of the screen so that you can refer back to it and have this information at hand. So here it tells you where your deployment files were created and where you should place them on the deployment server and the URL that you can use to install the application on the Android devices. If the build fails, you'll see it in this screen and then you can check the build log to see why it failed. And we'll go ahead and click Close. Okay, so we'll run the project in the studio. And then we're gonna go ahead and install the application on the Android emulator. So we'll open the AVD manager over here from the start menu. And here's the virtual machine that we defined in a previous clip. So we're gonna go ahead and click start. Just wipe out anything that I've got there and launch. OK, and when the emulator is up and running, we're going to go ahead here and click OK. And we're going to browse to our APK file. So we'll click here on the Browse button and just go ahead and type in here the address to the APK file. And you can refer back to that screen capture that you made of the summary screen where it gives you the address. And here's our IP address and the name of the scripts folder. And the name of our project Android and my app.apk and press enter. And it's starting to download. And we'll pull down on this arrow over here, and you'll see that download is complete. And now we'll click on it. So you can see here that the application title and the icons are the ones that we defined in the builder. My app and my app. OK, do we want to install this application? We want to, so let's go ahead and click Next and Install. And here it's installing our Android application that we created in the builder. And it's installed, so we'll click Done. And we'll go to the app drawer. By clicking on this button here, Home and this button. And you'll see the application name and icon here. And you can run the application. We'll click on it. And when the app is loaded, you'll see our nice magic screen here with the words My App, which we set earlier. And there's your customized app running on the Android emulator. Thanks, and join us again soon for some more magic.